an aerospace company, and a REIT are on the growth and income radar this time around. And our growth and income stock strategist, Todd Bunton, is going to fill in all the blanks as to why exactly they're there. Now, the aerospace company, very recognizable name, Boeing Company. Yep. Uh, Growth-wise, uh, their pipeline is always filled with orders. It's going to yeah. be interesting to see where the income comes from, though. Yeah, yeah, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. But, like, yeah, like you said, you know, huge aerospace company. They also uh, are heavily involved in defense, military, um, some, uh, you know, space. They're, they're involved with NASA, so, you know, sure. space. But commercial airplanes, that's about two-thirds of their revenue. It, it was in the third quarter anyway. And that was really the big driver of, of revenue growth. So the company delivered a huge beat and raise on October 22nd. They saw revenue up 7% year over year, 15% growth in the commercial airplanes uh, sector. And they saw their profit margins expand, and they raised full year guidance. So a nice beat and raise all, all across the board here. Uh, and that prompted analysts to revise their estimates significantly higher for the stock, sent it to a Zach's rank of two. And one of the catalysts behind that was their strong pipeline, like you talked about. So they have about a backlog of $490 billion. Wow. And, uh, of course, that's sp spread over several years, but a lot of that is uh, contractual. So, yeah. so very good revenue and, and income visibility for this company over several years. Still uh, huge. Yeah, absolutely. And if, if you look, like I said, analysts raised their estimates uh, after, after management raised their guidance. But you can see they raised estimates for both this year and next year, and the magnitude of those increases is pretty significant. So mm -hmm. that's why it's at a Zach's rank of two, uh, which is a buy rating. Very good earnings momentum here. Um, based on consensus estimates, analysts are looking for about 18% earnings growth this year, 3% growth next year. But the income, uh, they pay a dividend that yields 2.4%. That's so, what we want to hear. Yeah, so very solid income uh, from this company. They are a very strong cash flow generator. And they've also been buying back a lot of stocks, so they're very shareholder friendly. Mm -hmm. One caveat I would say is uh, you know, they do have a solid balance sheet other than about $16 billion in liabilities for pensions and accrued retiree uh, health care costs. That's a so, fair point. Yeah, so that is something to think about that, you know, that could keep, uh, you know, the dividend increases a little more modest going forward. But, but overall, you know, this is a solid growth in income play. Uh, in terms of valuation, they trade about 15 times forward earnings, mm -hmm. so uh, reasonable on... Uh, on the valuation front there. Uh, could be a good total return name over the next th three to six months. Okay. The REIT is LaSalle Hotel Properties. I don't know if you've talked about them before or not. Not them, um, but I have talked about other hotel REITs. It's, yeah. it's a very hot industry right now. Um, in, in terms of occupancy rates and, and, uh, and room rates, mm -hmm. uh, the, the increases have been the best since the year 2000. So very good. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on in the, in the hotel industry that's very good for, the, for these operators. Mm -hmm. uh, this company in particular, in particular owns 44 hotels throughout nine states and the District of Columbia, focused more on upscale, full-service hotels. Um, and they also delivered a solid beat and raise back on October 22nd. Uh, they saw revenue per available room up 11% year over year. Like I said, they saw, you know, they saw strong occupancy uh, rates. They saw room rates uh, increase at a healthy clip. So, so very good uh, revenue growth here, and the profit margins are expanding as well. And management increased its guidance for the full year, and that prompted analysts to revise their estimates higher. As you can see here, I brought with me the agreement and magnitude of consensus estimates. You can see analysts, analysts unanimously raised their estimates for both this year and next year, and the magnitude is uh, fairly significant. So that's why it's sitting at a Zach's rank of two, which is a buy rating. Mm -hmm. Based on those current consensus estimates, they're expecting about 12% uh, earnings growth this year and 11% growth next year. Wow. And as a read, of course, they have to pay out a, uh, at least 90% of their income in the form of dividends to avoid right. paying tax on that money. So their dividend yields 3.9%. Big divvy. Yeah, so very solid income to go along with very solid growth in a nice uh, industry with solid tailwinds. All at a pretty reasonable price. They trade about 15 times forward earnings. Another good total return name, I'd say, over the next three to six months. Okay, do you own either of these two? I do not. All right, check out other stock picks, stock picking strategies, stock commentary, a lot of stock stuff on our website, zax.com. If you're not there already watching this video, you can link to it all right off the home page. Meantime, with Todd, I'm Terry Ruffalo.